Doc Beach here from Applied Ballistics, and I'm going to go over a new feature you're going to see in firmware 1.17, and that's going to be the new easy mode in the Kestrel Elites. You still have the standard modes, the weather and the ballistics mode, which has more detailed information, but for those who want a simple firing solution, we've introduced easy mode. Another thing that was introduced is you have the indicator now up in the firing solution for whether you're working in MOA or mills. Easy mode gives you a target range, a target setup guide. You still have access to your other profiles. You have a muzzle velocity calibration guide, a compass calibration feature, and you have latitude. That's it. Just like it indicates, it's the easy mode. Now you can adjust your range here, but to set up a new target, you're going to use the target setup guide to make sure it happens properly. So let's go through that real quick. The first thing that's going to happen is it's going to capture the environment and it gives you instructions here to swing and check until the temperature stabilizes. It's capturing more than just temperature, but this is what we're watching. The next thing you're going to capture is the direction of fire to the target. And as you can see, the compass is live right now. So we would point the back of the unit towards the target and hit enter. Then you're going to capture your wind. You would open the impeller case, face the back of the unit into the wind, hit enter and count down from 10. When we hit enter again, it's captured the wind direction, wind speed one and wind speed two for that target. Then we're gonna hit enter to continue. And the final thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set the target range to match the actual target range up here, which you'd simply do by clicking left or right. The next thing that we'll go over in easy mode is gonna be the muzzle velocity calibration guide. This is important to do a muzzle velocity calibration correctly. First, we input our latitude, which we've already done here, but we could change it. Then we capture the environment, which is critical when doing any kind of calibration. So you perform the same thing, swing and check until stable. Now it's going to give you a range to perform this calibration in, and this is going to be the distance with the least amount of error in the calibration. Now you can do it outside of this range, and this range will be different for different rifle systems. So we'll go ahead and leave it short and you'll see you'll get an a, a error message. We hit continue. Short range calibration reduces accuracy. That's important to note. Now you're going to capture again the direction to the target, which is also important. And we're going to capture wind. Wind is an important factor in any calibration, especially because of aerodynamic jump. So we'll hit enter. You can see here it captured the wind. We didn't actually capture any wind, but these numbers would have adjusted. The final thing you're going to do is you adjust your actual elevation to hit the target to match that of what you had to shoot. So for instance, here you can see the muzzle velocity would have increased. It gives you a plus sign if we only needed 31 MOA of elevation. And if we increase this, you can see the muzzle velocity decreases and it indicates that with a negative sign. And then we could continue to save that. So we'll go ahead and exit because I don't want to change my muzzle velocity. But that is a brief overview of easy mode and how it functions and what you can expect uh, with the upcoming 1.17 uh, firmware.